Hello and welcome back. I've noticed that a lot of people are interested in getting funded from a prop trading firm like FTMO, MyForex Funds, Fundinext, or SurgeTrader. Today I will show you the real honest way to pass the evaluation and get funded based on your own excellence and proficiency of trading skill. Stick around to the end because by the end of this video, I will have demonstrated to you the actual way to pass the evaluation and always get higher probability and consistent profit in trading. Have you noticed that you know people in general often get an idea that there must be something new or a trick to do something like get funded or even there should be a trick on how to trade. I've seen plenty of advertisements for products implying that to pass an evaluation, you need to use a certain tool or maybe even use an automated trading system. Now, this seems to be a common misconception that human beings tend to have. It's something that they tend to create in their minds, but with the help of some outside sources of some supposed authority. So here is a fact that will help you to get clear about this. People have been trading for a long time. The methods for how to trade have been thoroughly explored and most have been in use for a long time. That's why, for instance, trading was thoroughly explored even since back in the 1920s. But by the time the trading industry got into the 1960s, 1970s, when it got into the 1980s and the 1990s, the methods for how to trade were thoroughly explored by that time. And this was an amazing first-hand discovery that I had that I'm really grateful for to have picked up a few clues that led me to notice this truth. This was something that I saw firsthand because I was not involved in trading until around 2004. And because I was interested in the Forex market, I discovered later that the whole online retail trading for Forex, the spot market for Forex, didn't really exist until around 1997. So when I got involved during the 2000s, here were all these marketers offering products and services on how to trade. And they were all borrowed from what existed before. They were borrowed from what had been done before, but they were given these exotic, exciting names and packaged to be specific to Forex, but were just about some basic technical analysis that could be applied to any market. Now, there are a lot of people who believe that trading is different now. Trading is different now. And people believe that the most profitable traders are using some kind of AI and robots and automated trading systems. And the word algorithm is thrown around as a buzzword. And just because brokers and exchanges are using computer technology to enter trades and so forth does not mean that they're using automated trading systems to trade. The truth is, nothing has changed and trading is still the same as it always was, for people who can read charts, this is especially evident because we can look at a chart and we can see the same market behavior that has existed for decades before. And we can see the same patterns that have existed for decades before. So for those people who are spending all of their time searching for some kind of an AI and searching for some kind of an automated trading system, they could be wasting a lot of time and money never reaching their goal. So here's the bottom line. If you want to get funded by a prop trading firm, the best thing that you can do is to learn to trade and master the skill. If you haven't learned to trade, it won't do any good to get funded. What would be the purpose of passing the evaluation if it wasn't based on my own skill? Now, we have explored in other videos, and I've pointed to this before, that in the world of psychology and personal development and trading psychology and reprogramming the subconscious mind, that it, it was shown in one of the NLP training programs that I was doing. Now, one of the instructors mentioned in psychology in general, 
that the issue of overcoming low self-esteem is one of the biggest challenges of the entire field. If you feel that it would be it would be safer if somebody else trades it for me, it's because at a core level, you don't believe that you're good enough and you believe you're just not worthy to get the results that you want. And this will need to be reprogrammed in order to overcome this biggest challenge that most people have when it comes to trading. And this conflict is not different from the conflict in other areas of life. And even if you give up on trading, the same conflict will be there in the next business that you try to do. Okay, have you ever wondered what the world's best traders are doing? It's a pretty fascinating thing. And if you know, share that with me in the comments. How do you know what the world's best traders are now doing? You seen any real evidence of that? Well, there are some things that we can learn. And here's what I learned. All the methods of trading were around long before there was such a thing as retail online Forex trading and spot market. And after the Forex market came around, there were many training programs designed to sell some supposedly unique trading methods that might have names like the Forex Laser Annihilator System or the Forex Jedi Ninja System. But let's be honest and realistic. What are the actual methods? Do they work? And where do they come from? Have you ever done any research on the world's greatest traders? And look for information on what methods they were known to be using. Let's say there are some traders getting excellent results. Do you believe that now they stopped what they're doing and started using AI? The evidence that will help you the most to discover what's true is learning to read the market yourself and discover the truth about what financial markets are doing and have been doing. So I did some research on this and I found out there are some greats in the trading world like Jesse Livermore, W.D. Gann, Paul Tudor Jones, Bill Lipschutz, and several others. Some of those people are still trading. Do you think they stopped doing what they were doing before? Here's what I found. If you research these people, you'll find that they all use some method of their own, but based on things like chaos theory, Wickoff or Elliott Wayne. What I also found out is that each of these methods is based on reading the same market using different terminology. For instance, if, if you dive into chaos theory, you'll see there is a market and there's some terminology that's used. If a turning point is identified, it's not going to be a different turning point than what formed in Elliott Wave. And the same with Wickoff. They can look at the market, they might talk about different things with their own terminology. But if there are any turning points, it has to be the same turning point that's shown in each of them. Otherwise, it isn't a turning point, right? It would be a false turning point. Another thing, the market does the same thing for all of those methods on all charts. And people are just looking at the charts, discovering how it moves. They're looking at it and discovering how it moves in the normal behavior that financial markets form. And they're searching for discovering where's the best place to enter and exit trades and have high probability. The way that this was learned by each of these people is by looking at the market and studying its movements and learning the basic principles of reading financial markets and reading charts. Then these different people apply different terminology to what they saw, but they all saw the same thing. The market doesn't form different movements for Elliott Wave or Chaos Theory or Wyckoff. Why do so many people believe that the financial markets are different now? It's because they can't read the chart. If you can read the chart, you can see, oh yes, it's doing the same thing as before because you know how to read it. But if you're just basing it off of some ignorance, you don't know if it's doing the same thing or not. So you just believe that it's doing something different. And that's why so many people are distracted by these gimmicks, thinking that now trading the market should be based on AI. This belief is spread by people marketing some tool based on AI. So here's what I would recommend. Let's take a look and discover for yourself 
how to make trading work. That's how you would pass an evaluation. In order to develop proficiency in trading, it will help to be able to see for yourself. See for yourself on charts, how patterns and cycles repeat and how to read the patterns and identify turning points across all time frames. If I show you something that is true and I show you something that is true on a chart, then you can agree it is true and understand it. But when you look at a chart by yourself, you might still feel that there's something missing. Maybe there's some information missing. Maybe you look at a chart, you look around and you think, well, I kind of see what you said, but I don't fully see it on this chart. It doesn't make sense. Or I don't see a never ending cycle of patterns that I can identify the turning points. If that's your experience, well, that would be great. So that's great if you experience that. Because of course, yes, there are additional steps to reading the market and recognizing turning points. And that's why so many intelligent, educated people might learn a little bit about one of these methods of trading and they look at the market and they're intimidated because they don't see it. And so then they just want to spend the rest of their lives justifying, oh, that doesn't exist. No such thing as technical analysis because it makes them feel inadequate and it should. I know if you can't see it, well, I can help you so that you can see it. So yes, of course, there is more to it. Failure is when people come to the conclusion that the whole thing doesn't work without putting in more time to learn a little bit more about the hidden intricacies and the subtleties of market behavior. It might require a little bit of extra study. If you do see this next part I'm about to show, if you see it, you'll be on your way to making the breakthrough to a higher level of trading proficiency. How can you get high probability in trading? Here's how. The market forms known patterns and I can show them to you. You can see it. And one of these patterns that's known is the classic trend. So if you can learn to see the shape of a classic trend, just like you can learn to read the letter A, the letter B, the letter C, the shape of a classic trend, then you have made the first breakthrough. Now, if you go away and take your charts and look for that, you will see it, but you won't see it everywhere. And you don't want to give up right there because there are more steps. Now, one of the problems that people have is from looking at a particular time frame and not recognizing what's formed while not seeing that if they were searching for clarity by adjusting the time frame up and down a little, that will cause the clarity of many patterns to emerge on the chart so that then you can see them. And most people are not aware of that. And so they just miss out on seeing it entirely. I can see it, but I guess they can't see it. That's okay. So the first thing is you need to find out that this is true. Then you can find out how to decipher reading the market so that the hidden clarity emerges. If you can see that the market does form a pattern, does it form a pattern during a trend? And does it form a different pattern during a correction to a trend? Yeah, it does. And that is scientifically true for anybody. You want to test it, get a chart and test and see. Are there trends? Are there corrections? This is the key that will take you into the next levels of the breakthroughs that you need to bring this mastery and proficiency. It's not the entire story, but let me know if you understand that part. And I'll be glad to show you more about that. There are some fascinating mysteries hidden in this journey that we are on of how to trade. Here's the bottom line. Getting funded will be based on having high probability in trading. And that comes from developing the skill of how to read charts. It's partly how to read charts, while also partly how to be aware of the economic data that comes out as the patterns form. Okay, let me know and I'll show you more about that.